I'm headed for a spin. I had this China little sword from the fellow who brought me all these serrated knives last week, if you remember. He brought me another 550 today. I, I've removed the serrations on it and I sharpened up the sword. He said he wants it really sharp and polished. He sets it in a, some kind of holder. And then he bought me, he calls this his duck knife. It's a piece of junk from China. It was serrated. I removed all the serrations. Still junk. I mean, it's, it's pitted everywhere. The more I grind, the more pits I get. But it's in relatively good shape at this moment. I'll show you some pictures of it before. I'm going uh, to get Chris to drop me off with the dredges and I'll work my way back by foot. Stand by. They haven't got up here yet. They said it'd be done in 12 days. 700 foot wide, 10 foot deep. Ah. The other side of the tunnel right now, that's down there where Beaver lives. They're going to start that way and come this way. The big damn dredge, ain't it? Good gracious. But where they're located, man, I like it. I like the area. Well, we got a 19. Our first target. Might be a bottle cap off of jumping now. I don't see no cap. I don't see no target either, but it says it's right here somewhere. Come out of there, whatever you are. Nice candy on the beach today. What little there is of it. It's cold. I got a long sleeve shirt on. It's a cold breeze. See the water is black. You can't even see my feet. I'm gonna set the mud and stuff in the dredge water with the tides bring it down this way. I don't know if it's a bottle cap or not. Pretty solid. They pushed up with a bulldozer. I got a nice, nice solid 16 right here. Jumpy, but 16. Well, I know what it is. A bucktail. I mean, a, a seahawk, I call it. A fishing thing. A lead head, a shameless eye. Cool. Fifteen. Ah, oh, nice pull tab. First pull tab of the day. This is what I was looking for. Nice pull tab. Got another
Crap! Pure crap! Aluminum! Back home, you see there's a nice little low spot right there. And it's probably going to be one or two more before I get home. I don't know if I'll find anything, but I'll check them out. Beats what I'm finding now, which is nothing. I'm getting a lot of damn exercise today, though, I can tell you that. Walking, not from digging. Some more candy. Let's see what this baby's got, if anything. Fourteen. Pull tab, pull tab, good gracious. We got a, got a nice pocket right up there. Those two eye candy babies are in there with that little dog. A little puppy dog, they're breaking them into the water, I guess. It's about, I don't know, it looks good. I mean, everything looks good. How old is that little boy? Seven months old? What's his name? Luna. Luna? Luna. That's a girl. It's a girl. Oh, I got you. <laughs> Luna. That boy's carrying his collar. That's pretty cool. I like that. Look at it. or so where we found that diamond ring with a sapphire in it. Princess D's ring. I always thought there should be another ring that went with that, but I've always hunted in the same spot when I got in this area a lot, but never have found anything else. So I guess it was just sheer blind luck I found that. But this low spot hadn't produced anything. That's some mud from the dredge, isn't that pretty? My life takes two showers when I get home. Stingray. He's uh, in bad shape, that boy is. There's a stinger, though. Got some trash on it. There's the culprit that does your ass in right there. I know, I got one of my left foot, if you remember a couple years ago. Mm, that's a rough pit ticket right there, boy. Like the last of the low spots. Might be one more just beyond that little break right there, you see it? I can't tell from here. Looks like it is. We'll check this one out and see if there's anything in it. Exercise only.
See you tomorrow, I hope. Maybe go to the land of Nada. I'll get back to you. No word from the Mumbles, man. I don't think he went today. <laughs>